Hello everybody, this is Brandon Russ with your mortgage guy. I'm coming to you with another tip that'll help you get into a home and save some money. So in prior videos, we discussed how the credit scores impact your pricing and impact your access to loan products. You can check that video out. On this video, I just wanna talk about improving your credit score. So our first tip today is gonna to be to fully understand what's in your credit report, right? So legally, you are allowed to, to have access to your credit report periodically which gives you a great chance to look at what's in there and address what's in there, right? So if you have collections, if you high, have cr high credit utilization, which credit utilization means you're using a high percentage of your available credit line. If you have any late payments, if you have anything in there that's accurate or inaccurate, you can address what's in your credit report. So first step would be to be aware of what's in your credit. So the second step is to build your credit profile. So there are certain things you can do that are easy to build that credit profile. One thing you can do is pay your bills on time. If you have a bill, you have a responsibility, pay it before it's late, pay it on time. An easy way to build your credit profile other than paying your bills on time would be to establish a revolving credit account. Revolving credit accounts typically come in the form of credit cards, but some warnings about credit cards, okay? Because some people use them more aggressively <laughs> than your credit score will appreciate. Okay, so tip number one, most experts will say you should use anywhere between five and 20% of the credit limit. Okay, so if your credit limit is $500, the most you should show on a statement day, ideally is $100. All right, and that's if you're using the highest number on those estimates, right? If it's 5%, it's lower. If it's $1,000 that you have as a credit limit, then $200 becomes your ideal maximum use of that credit card or your credit cards if combined they equal a thousand dollars right if you have two credit cards and together they add up to fourteen thousand dollars the most you're going to add together on those two credit cards is twenty eight hundred dollars for a statement all right together all right not twenty eight hundred plus twenty eight hundred but twenty eight hundred dollars in combination if your credit limit is fourteen thousand dollars okay you want to make sure that on the statement that you use five to twenty percent of your credit limit okay you want most of your balance to be available credit right another tip with credit cards okay a lot of people instead of um, requesting that their bank or their uh, lending institution increase the limits on their already established accounts they'll open up other accounts most sources will tell you ideally you have anywhere between three and five credit account revolving credit accounts under your name so instead of opening that sixth or seventh or eighth account ask the institutions you already have accounts with hey can we increase the limit here and the the cool thing about increasing the limit especially if you're already at say 10 percent utilization it could drop your utilization lower if the account increases which increases your credit score and then the last thing you can do is make sure, and part of this is making sure you use the account paying on time, making sure that you don't open more accounts than you regularly use. But the, the last thing you can do is let your accounts age with you, right? So on your credit history, on your credit report, they're going to show the average age of your accounts. And if they're newer or younger, you have a very new credit report right very new credit history but if your accounts age with you then the median age or the average age of your accounts becomes a benefit to you because it says hey this person establishes a relationship with a lender or a bank they honor the relationship and they know how to manage their budget in a way that they don't use much of their credit limit right they keep their credit utilization low Again, 5% to 20% of the credit limit. Yeah, that's an easy way to establish revolving credit history that's a positive for you. So the third step I mentioned in the second step, but it's just pay your bills on time, right? If you commit to a bill, if you commit to a responsibility, make sure that it's a responsibility that your budget can handle. And if something falls through the cracks and it heads to collections or delinquency and you get that call, verify it, right? Make sure it's real and then pay it as quickly as possible so that it's not something that becomes an issue when it comes to closing or affects your debt to income ratio when it comes to your underwriting for a mortgage. Step three, pay your bills on time. 
So another great way to uh, increase your credit score is to consolidate revolving debt, right? Into one loan. So instead of having credit cards that are maxed out, if you have equity in your home that allows you to do a cash out refinance, do the cash out refinance and use the equity that you're allowed to use to cover those credit cards, right? Because it'll look better as a mortgage than it does on your credit report as maxed out credit cards, okay? Now, make sure you talk to a certified financial planner so you don't put yourself back in that situation. But a good way if you need relief is to use the equity in your home. If you don't own a home, a personal loan looks better than maxed out credit cards because the maxed out credit cards, if they are paid off into the personal loan, become available credit again, all right? So think about consolidating the debts if you put yourself in a situation where you're behind the eight ball on credit to make the payment. But again, I would talk to a certified financial planner so that when you do consolidate those debts, you're not just bad budgeting yourself back into a high debt situation. Hey, this is Brandon Respers, your mortgage guy. Thank you for watching the, the video. If you found it useful, hit that subscribe button and make two other promises today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll make another video to answer your questions. And then the third promise is to believe in your path to yes. Every person on this planet has a path to yes. You just got to believe in it. You got to pursue it. Have a great day. Take care.